hello boys and girls in this video we're going to discuss about uh, the straight line equation okay uh, what is a straight line equation straight line equation is also called as a linear equation or a simultaneous equation for example first of all what is an equation an equation is something which has an equal to symbol and which has some left hand portion of it and which has some right hand portion of it okay so i'll tell you some examples x square plus 2x plus y is this an equation no it is not an equation because there is no equal to symbol this is just an expression this is not an equation okay i'm going to give you another one x plus 5 is equal to 7 is this a is this an equation yes it is an equation which because it has an equal to symbol in it and it has some left hand portion of it lhs left hand side portion of it and which also has the right hand portion of it there in addition to that there are some unknown variables here there are some known quantities here the five and seven are the constants and they are fixed they are known to us where x is a unknown quantity okay so what equation we call it is a straight line equation okay so there are few conditions that a straight line equation has to meet those conditions are that straight line equation should only have either an x term or a y term or both x and y term or and it may have a constant or it may not have a constant for example For example, x plus y is equal to 7. Is this a straight line equation? Yes, it is a straight line equation because it has a term x, it has a term y, and it has a, some constant. And this is an equation because there is an equal to symbol here. Okay, so I said you should have only x term or a y term or both. And it may have a constant, may not have a constant. So I'm going to give you another example. So x square plus 2y is equal to 6. Is this a straight line equation? It is not a straight line equation because there is an x square here. Okay. The straight line equation should only have the x power 1 and y power 1. That cannot increase. Like the power of x should not increase more than 1. The power of y should not increase more than 1. In this case, the power of x is 2, which is more than 1. So that is why this is not a straight line equation. This equation does not represent a straight line on a coordinated plane. Okay. Uh, fine. So is this xy plus x plus 7 is equal to 0? Is this a straight line equation? It has an x term. Fine. It has some constant. Fine. It does not have a y term rather it has a xy term xy term the product of x and y is constituted as a single term so even in this case this is not called as a straight line equation because the straight line equation should only have either an x term or a y term and it may have a constant or may not have a constant in this case we have a term xy which is a product of x and y so this is not a straight line equation so Again, the straight line equation should have an x term or a y term and it may have or may not have a constant term. Fine, I'm going to give you, uh, first of all, what is the need for representing uh, representing a straight line in the form of an equation? First of all, what is a straight line? A straight line is a something, this is a coordinated plane, this is an x axis, this is an y axis. A straight line has a something that passes in a straight manner, like as in it should not have any curves in it, it should not have any bends in it. Okay, so this is a straight line. But how do we represent this line? This is a line on the coordinated plane on the x-axis and y-axis, and there are some units here on the positive side: one, two, three, four, five, six, and again on the y-axis we have one, we have two, three, four, five. On the left side, we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And again, on the down on the y-axis, we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 
as far as far as the work. Yeah. Okay. So this is a straight line equation. This is a straight line. Okay. So the straight line is a something. There is no endpoints to it. Okay. Only line segment has an endpoint. So the straight line it infinitely goes on both sides. It extends on both sides uh, to to an infinite level. Okay. So this is a straight line equation. And this line equation can be represented. Uh, this is a straight line, and this straight line can be represented in the form of an equation. The equations which I told, for example, 3x plus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. This is a straight line equation. But whether this is that straight line or not, it is not that I want to discuss now. But this is a straight line, a typical straight line equation. Okay, so which may represent some straight line on the coordinated plane. Okay, so what are the things involved? Uh, what are the various things involved in a straight line equation? The very uh, first thing is uh, given an equation whether it is a straight line or not, which we already discussed. For example, a term x square plus y square plus x plus y is equal to 8. Okay, this is an equation because there is an equal term. Okay, which is x term and y term. But is this a straight line equation? No, it is not a straight line equation because it has an x square term and a y square term. A straight line equation should have only either an x term or a y term or both x and x term both x and y term and it may have or may not have a constant in this case because we have an x square term because we have x y square term so this is not a straight line equation okay so the very first thing that we learned here is check if the given equation so I'll, what are we learning here check if a given equation is a straight line equation or not straight line equation is also called as a linear equation or a simultaneous equation so the first point that we learned is check if a given equation is the equation represents a straight line or not. Okay. The second point. The second point. The second point is that given a straight line equation, given a straight line equation, what is the slope of that straight line okay say for example i have given an equation x plus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 this is straight line equation because it has an x term y term and it also has some constant so what is the slope of it okay in order to find the slope there is a very popular form of a straight line equation that form is called y is equal to mx plus c okay any given equation, if you convert this into this format, into this format, m represents the slope and c represents, represents the point at which it cuts the y-axis. In this case, this type line cut this y-axis here. The point here is that 0, comma, so it's just above the 2, it may be something like a 2.2 or something like that. So 0, comma, 2.2. So it cut y axis at a 2.2. So this is an equation that I have given and I am asking you to find out what is the slope of it. Okay. To find out the slope, you need to convert this one into this format. How can we convert this one? So keep this 2y here on this side and take this minus take this plus x and plus 7 onto the other side of the equation. So if you take it, it go it becomes like this plus x becomes minus x and plus 7 becomes minus minus 7 okay now have we got this one into this format not yet because it should be y it should there should not be any coefficient of y on the left side okay so in order to convert this one this equation into this format what you have to do is keep y here and take this 2 onto the other side so this is multiplying y on the left side if it goes to the right side it's going to divide this whole right side of it okay okay so y is equal to minus x minus 7 by 2 so if you further simplify if you further modify this equation into this format you will get minus 1 by 2 x minus 7 by 2 okay now is this in this equation in this format y is equal to mx plus c format y is equal to mx plus c format is also called as a line intercept form okay slope intercept form sorry 
slope intercept form because this form straight away tells what is the slope of it and straight away tells at what point this meets the y axis. Okay, so the y is here, x is here. What is m in that case? The m, this is the one which is going to represent an m. Okay, and this is the thing that is going to represent the c here. Okay, so what is m here? m is minus 1 by 2 and what is c here? c is equal to minus 70 by 2. Okay, the slope represents, the slope represents whether it is moving, whether it is rising while it is passing from left to right or whether it is fa falling when it is moving from left to right. Okay, so in this case, this line is moving is rising up where it is moving from left to right so this is going to have a positive slope that i'll talk in a little while but given this equation we found the slope and the uh, slope and the y intercept this is the equation given and we found the slope of it so the second thing that we discovered is that uh, given straight line equation Find its slope. Slope and and y intercept. Y intercept. Okay. So this is the slope intercept form because this equation has a slope and this also has a y intercept. The C represents a y intercept. Okay. So something is given like this. Say if an equation is already given, for example, y is equal to 5x plus 7. If an equation is already given in this format, you can straight away tell my slope, the slope of this equation, the slope of the straight line is 5 because see here the y, y is y is matching here. M corresponds to 5 and x is corresponds to x here. And the c corresponds to 7 here. The slope is 5 and the y intercept is 7. Okay. So if the equation is given in this format, you can straight away tell this is my slope and this is, is the point at which it meets the y axis. Okay, so two things we found out. Say for example, straight line equation is not given, but rather the two points on the straight line is given. For example, this point is given, this point is given, two points are given. On the straight line on the straight line okay now tell me how many lines can pass through two given points can there be more than one line can there be two lines can there be two three lines or can there be zero lines it cannot be zero lines because if the two points are given you pick up any two points anywhere on the coordinated plane you pick up a point here a point here a straight line is possible how many straight lines are possible there is only one straight line is possible given the two points on the coordinated plane. Okay, so it's very important. If two points are given, how many straight lines you can draw that passes through these two points? There's only one straight line equation. There's only one straight line that passes through those given two points. Okay, it cannot be zero, it cannot be more than one. Okay, say for example, the two points are given on the straight line. Say, uh, I would say, uh, this one is 2 comma 3 and this one is say I'll put it here 4 comma 4 okay so 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 so I've given you two points on the straight line okay but I ask you to find out the equation of that the straight line okay so if two points are given so here is the procedure the first thing is that you have to find out the slope. The slope is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. First, you have to do is that you have to find out the slope. Okay, so what is y2, what is y1 here? Say you write down these points. Say for example, p1 is equal to 2 comma 3. I have considered this as a p1 point and this is a p2 point. And p2 is... 4 comma 4 okay so this is x1 y1 this is x2 and y2 
x square y1 x2 y2 okay now what you have to do is that you apply that you apply uh, this formula on these two points so what is y2 here y2 is 4 what is y1 3 what is x2 4 what is x1 is 2 okay so you further simplify this one 4 minus 3 is 1 4, 4 minus 2 is 2 so what is the slope here slope is 1 by 2 okay now we got the slope so this is a straight line equation and we got the slope and we need to find out the what the c is okay so the slope formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 okay the slope um, in other words the way you should define the slope is that the rise by run the amount of uh, the amount it tries on the y axis by the amount it uh, run on the x axis the slope in this case is a uh, 1 by 2 if these two points are given okay y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and what is c how we find out the c to find out c what you have to do is you uh, write down this equation y is equal to mx plus c you put a slope here in place of m and you pick up any one point it need not be p1 it can be p1 or it can be p2 you pick up any one point and substitute that point in this equation say i am picking up this point p1 point so what is x here 2 into x is 2 plus c i don't know the purpose of this this exercise is to find out the c we already found out uh, m and now we are finding out what the c value is and what is y here 3 okay okay in this case 2 comma 3 we consider the x1 and y1 when we are evaluating the slope and when you are doing when you are find when we are trying to find out the value of c we consider 2 comma 3 as a x and y okay not necessary that you pick up a p1 point you can as well pick up a p2 point and substitute the same 4 and 4 here you can put a 4 here you can put a 4 here okay yeah either way you get the same answer all right now we we'll find out um find out yeah so 2 2 gets cancelled 1 plus c is equal to 3 and uh, the c is equal to 3 minus 1 plus c is equal to 2 okay you got it c is equal to 2 now what is the straight line equation you got a m you got a c you just have to replace m and c in this equation with these values and you get a straight line equation so the straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c this is the time slope intercept form what is m here 1 by 2 x x is x what is c here 2 and what is y y is y yeah so y is equal to half x plus 2 half x plus 2 so given the two points you found out what the, the line equation is Given the two points, we found out what the line equation is. So, what did we learn? Given two points, okay, I'll, I'll find out line equation given two points are it. Two points are it. Okay. So we learned that those three things, yeah. And we move on to the next topic. Say a straight line equation is given. Say I'm giving you a straight line equation y is equal to 5x minus 7. Okay. I ask you to find out whether a point, how many points can be there on a straight line? Can you tell? Yeah, there can be infinite points. So every thing is a point here. See, every dot on the line is a point. See, there are infinite points. Okay. There are points on the straight line. There are also points outside the straight line, straight line away from the straight line. Okay. They are not lying on the straight line, but there are some other point on the coordinated plane. So I've given you straight line equation. 
and I ask you to check if a point, for example, 1, 3. A point P, say for example, a point P, 1, 3, whether it lies on this straight line or not, I ask you to find out. Then how are you going to do it? Okay, so the way you should do it is simply substitute x value with 1 and y value with the 3. Okay, I'm putting y as in 3 here and 5 is a constant which is slope in this case. What is x? x I'm putting 1 minus 7. Okay, so now you simplify it. Further simplify it, 5 minus 7 which is equal to minus 2 and this side we have 3. So is 3 is equal to minus 2? No, right? It's not equal to. So this point is not satisfying this equation. Okay, so this point is not satisfying this equation. So that's why we call this point does not, does not lie on this straight line. This is an equation which represents a straight line, a straight line, some straight line. Okay, and this point does not lie on this straight line because when you substitute the value of x with 1, when you substitute a value of y with the 3, this equation is not, is not satisfied. Okay, so the equality sign here is broken as in like it. Yeah, that's why. This point does not lie on this one. So you pick up some other point. For example, for example, I picked up another point. P is equal to 1. Y is equal to minus 2. Okay. So let's again calculate. Uh, again, see whether this point lies on this straight line or not. Okay. Let's put the value of x is 1, 5 into 1 and minus 7 and the value of y is minus 2. Okay, let's further simplify this one. 5 minus 7, which is equal to minus 2. Yeah, minus 2 on the left side, minus 2 on the right side. So this is satisfied. So we can say that this point lies on this straight line. Okay, so what it will end? Given a point, check if it given a point Check if check if that point lies on that check if that point lies on a straight line. Lies on a given straight line, I would say. Okay, so we learned uh, those four concepts. And the third, the next one is, say for example, if two lines are given, and there may be a question like whether those two lines are parallel lines or not. Okay, so let's check how to verify that one. Say I have given you line equation 1, line equation 1 as 2x plus 5y plus 7 is equal to 0 and the line equation 2 as in x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. So how do you find out whether these two lines, is this a straight line equation? Yes, it is a straight line equation because it has an x term, it has a y term, it has some constant. Okay, there are no x square terms, there are no x y terms, there are no x cube terms or anything like that. So this represents one straight line, this represents another straight line. So to find out whether those two lines are parallel lines or not. For example, this is one line. If another line is like this, we can say they are parallel lines because they are never going to meet and they will continuously extend and they will maintain the same distance between, uh, between, between them. Okay. So how do you find out? So, okay. so when we say the two lines the yeah, two lines will be parallel, okay, only if they have the same slope. The M should be same for both of these two lines, okay. Then only we will call those two lines as a parallel lines. Let's find out the slope for this equation, equation line equation 1, okay. 
So what is the slope? Again, you convert this equation into this format. How, how can I convert? So uh, just writing it down again here. W is equal to zero. So this is equation one. This is equation two. Let's find out equation one, what the slope is. 5y is equal to, I'm taking 2x and plus 7 onto the other side minus 2x minus 7 and y is equal to minus 2 by 5 minus 7 by 5. Okay, so what is the slope here? m is equal to 2 by 5. Okay, so for the equation 2, what is the equation 2? x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus x plus 8. That's it, it's pretty much it. Yeah, y is equal to minus x plus 8. What is the slope here? So, what is the slope here? So minus x can be written as minus 1 into x. Okay, it's not a minus. Minus does not make any sense. The slope is minus 1 into x. Yeah, this whole term minus x can be written as minus 1 into x. If you compare this one with this one, m becomes a minus 1. So what is the slope here? Here it is minus 2 by 5 and here it is minus 1. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. So they are not parallel lines. Okay, there are there are two lines, but they are going to meet at some point. Okay, certainly they are not parallel lines. So this is how you have to check. If a two lines are given, if you are asked to find out if there are parallel lines or not, parallel lines or not, you have to find out the slope. To find out the slope, and then if the slope is same. For both these two lines, then we say they are parallel lines. Okay, I'm going to give you another example. Mm -hmm. Y is equal to 7x my 7x plus 8, and the other one is y is equal to 7x minus 2. Are these two parallel lines? Yes, they are parallel lines because both these two equations, both these two straight line equations, they are having the same slope here. The 7 represents the slope of this equation. The 7 here is the slope of this equation. This is one line equation, this is two line equation. This is the second line equation. The slope is same for both these two equations. That's why these two are parallel lines. C can be different. C can be different. Like C, in this case, these two are parallel lines. It has the same, some slope. It has, it has also the same slope, but the point at which it made the y-axis is different. Okay, it can be different. Okay, the c can be different. Uh, c can be different, but if the slopes are same, then we call those two lines as a parallel lines. Okay, fine. So, what did we learn? Check if two lines are parallel or not. Check if two given lines and two given straight line equations are two given line line equations or lines are parallel okay okay the next concept is that how do you when do you say these two lines are perpendicular say you are given with a two line equations two line equations so you ask me to check if those two lines are perpendicular or not Okay, whether they are parallel or not, we found out. We just found out. Okay, whether they are perpendicular or not, how do you find it out? Okay, so we say those two lines are perpendicular if their slopes are additive inverse. What is an additive inverse? Say, for example, if the slope of a first line is 5, if the slope of another line is minus 5, then they are additive inverse. Additive inverse means when you sum up both of these two, you should get a zero. Okay, so two lines are said to be in perpendicular if their slopes are additive inverse. Say I'm giving you two line equations. Y is equal to yeah. So for the sake of simplicity, I am taking a line equation that is already in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Even if it is not, you can convert it using doing some simple simplification. Um, you can convert this one and find out. You can bring the given equation into this form. Why is equal to mx plus c? So I'm giving you one line equation as in um, x by two plus five. Another line equation as minus x by two plus seven. 
are these two perpendicular lines first of all are they parallel lines what is the slope here the slope here is 1 by 2 for this equation for the equation 1 the slope is 1 by 2 isn't it yeah so then here corresponds to 1 by 2 it can be written as 1 by 2 into x but the slope here is 1 by 2 and the slope here is minus 1 by 2 are the slopes the same no they are not same here we got a 1 by 2 slope and here we got a minus 1 by 2 they are not same so they are not parallel okay so this point we already verified and now the question is whether they are perpendicular or not okay now what is the slope say the slope of the first equation is m1 we can say it is m1 what is the slope of this first equation 1 by 2 and for this one for the second equation the slope m2 is minus 1 by 2 okay are these two additive inverses yes they are additive inverses when you sum these two, you will get a zero. You will get a zero. So that's why they are called the additive inverse. So it's simply putting, you put it a plus, you put a minus here, and you put it a minus, you put a plus here. Okay, they are additive inverse. So that's why they are called, a, uh, they are perpendicular lines. Okay, perpendicular lines you might be knowing. So this is a line equation, one line equation. One line on the coordinated plane, and if another line is like this, this line and this line are said to be, perpendicular because the angle they both make here is 90 degrees okay so I'm going to give you another one uh, y is equal to 2x plus 7 y is equal to 5x plus 8 are these perpendicular lines okay what is the slope of this one yeah what is the slope of this one it's 5 okay they are not additive inverse so if the slope slope is 1 if this become a perpendicular to this one the slope should be minus 2 minus 2 then only they are perpendicular since the slopes are not additive inverse then they are not a perpendicular lines okay so this is point is check if the two given lines are perpendicular okay check if two given lines are perpendicular Fine. Okay, so what what next? We found out the slope, we found out the y intercept, we found out found out given two points are given, we found out the line equation, and we given a point, check if that point lies on the straight line or not. Okay, go to the next one. Um, next one is that say for example a line equation is given a line equation is given what are the quadrants it passes through say this line it this is the first quadrant first this side is the second quadrant so all this region from here to here, this is all first quadrant, this is second quadrant, from here to here is second quadrant, and this is third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. Okay, fourth quadrant. Given a line equation, if you are asked to find out what are the quadrants it passes through, it passes through. For example, a line, this is x axis and this is y axis, if it passes like this. What are the quadrants it is passing through? It is passing through center and it is it, it passing through the quadrant 1 and this is the quadrant 3. This is Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Okay, this is passing through quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Like this, for example, if I give you another line like this, this is passing through quadrant 1, quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. Okay, yeah, okay. given if a line equation is given, how do you check what are the quadrants it passing, passes through? Okay. Say for example, a line equation like this is given 7x minus 5. Okay. So to determine what are the quadrants it passes through, you have to make a rough sketch of the given line equation. Rough sketch. Okay. You have to be accurate, but a rough sketch. I'm going to rub it off and draw it again.
okay a rough sketch of a straight line equation a straight line when given when equation is given you can draw it this way this is an x this is y and there are some positive values here like 1 2 3 4 and this 1 2 3 4 and this line on the downside is in minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 blah 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 and here So what is the slope here? The slope is a 7. Okay. When a slope is positive number, remember when a slope is a positive number, it rises, it rises when it is moving from left side to right side. Okay. When a slope is a positive number, it rises from left side to if it, it rises when it is moving from left side to right side. If a slope is negative number, if it is move while it's moving from left side to right side, it falls. It falls this way. Okay, so I'm going to say just a positive number. Okay, it can be anything after zero, a positive number, or it can be anything before zero. So what is it? Is it a rising or a falling line? It is a falling line. While it is moving from left to right, it is falling, 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 going down, down, down. Okay, so it is falling. So certainly this line is going to have a negative slope. Okay, so by looking at the line, you can tell whether it is going to have a positive slope or a negative slope. Okay, I looked at it and I found that it is falling while it is moving from left to right. So I say this line is having a negative slope. You pick up another, I'm going to give you another, another line, I'm going to draw another line like this. So what is the slope of it? So this is line one. This is line 2. What is the slope of this one? You need not tell the exact slope, but you just tell me whether it is a positive number or a negative number. So, when this line 2 is moving from left to right, it is rising. It is rising, going up, 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 up. Okay? So, if you see a straight line having this pattern, then then this is going to have a positive slope then this is going to have a positive slope okay so that's how to interpret the positive slope and a negative slope but this is an equation that is given and i asked you to find out what are the quadrants it passes through okay so what is the slope the slope whether it is a positive number or a negative number it is a positive number right so while it is traveling or while it is moving from left to right it should rise it should rise okay so I'm going to erase this this one okay so it's going to, it should have it, it has a positive slope that means while it is moving from left to right it will rise that's right it tries okay and what is the y intercept here the y intercept is minus 5 at what point this is going to meet y axis this line this represents a straight line because it has an x term it has a y term there are no x square there is no x y there is no x cube or anything like that okay <coughs> so okay yeah so it has a slope of 7 and it is also meeting y axis at a minus 5. Okay. The slope 7 is a positive 7, it's a plus 7. Plus 7, positive slope represents the rising line when it is moving from left to right. And this one represents at what point it meets the y axis. So it's meeting y axis at a minus 5. Okay. This is the point it is meeting. And to draw some rough line, okay, need not be accurate. You draw a rough line that passes through this one, like this point. At the same time, it should rise. It should rise. Okay. So that is the point. So that's how it's going to look like. Okay. The point here is we are not worried at what point it is meeting x axis and all. We are not worried. But our aim. In this question is to find out what are the quadrants it is passing through. 
Okay. For that, you have to make a rough sketch of it. To make a rough sketch, you have to understand how this slope influences the kind of shape or the kind of uh, the way it is traveling and the way it is going to move. Over. Okay. Form to slope represents the rising line and length to slope represents the falling line. Falling line. Okay, this is a rising because we have a cross to slope and it is also met at highest point. So, what are the quadrant shapes passing? Obviously, it is passing. It is there in the quadrant 1 and some portion of this line is there in the quadrant 4 and some portion of the, some portion is there here in the quadrant 3 as well. So, these are the quadrants it is passing through. Q1, Q4, Q3. Okay. Yeah, like for example, I am going to give you another one. Y is equal to 5x. Y is equal to 5x. Okay, what are the quadrants it is passing through? What is the y-intercept here? There is nothing here. That means you can consider C as in 0. That means it is meeting y-axis at a, a point 0. That is this point. This is an origin. Origin. Yeah, it is passing through origin. And uh, what is the slope? We have a positive slope here. That means it is moving from left to right. It's, it's going to rise. Okay, so it is going to look like this one. So this is passing through it. this line. This line equation, when you plot it on a coordinate plane, it's going to look like this one. And this line is passing through quadrant 1 and the quadrant 3. Because it is exactly, precisely passing through all of them. So that's why this line lies, is passing through quadrant 1 and the quadrant 3. Quadrant 3, yeah. Q1 and Q3. Um, for example, you take uh, minus 2x, y is equal to minus 3x, minus 2. Okay, so how is this line going to look like? Minus 2 is the negative slope and it should fall and it is meeting y axis at minus 2. So the line should pass through here and while it is passing, it should also fall. Like as in, yeah, so it is moving from left to right and it is falling. Okay, so that's all. So this, when you make this line equation, roughly represents this line. Roughly represents this line. Which is passing through Q2, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Okay. Yeah. That's how you have to roughly guess like how this shape is going to look like when you really plot from the graph. Okay, you have to make some um, close guess. And based on that, you can tell. You can surely tell. Like, there's no way that you can go wrong if you follow this method. There's no way that you can go wrong. Though it is a rough sketch, it precisely tells what are the quadrants it is passing through. Okay, there won't be any mistake. If you follow it, you 100% will be able to tell the quadrants through which it is passing through. Fine. Given a line equation, given a line equation, Find out the quadrants it passes through. Okay, yeah. Given the line equation, find out the quadrants it passes through. Okay. And yeah, these are various things that we learned. And now x-axis and this is the y-axis and this is the coordinator frame and this is an origin 0 comma 0 okay so I'm drawing a line like this like this that exactly lies on the x-axis okay so in other words the x-axis itself is a line x-axis itself is representing a line okay now what is the equation of a line that exactly lies on the x-axis? Or, in other words, what is the equation of an x-axis? x-axis is a line. We should have some equation. What is the equation of that line? Okay. So, the x-axis line equation is, x-axis line equation is y is equal to 0. Okay. So this is an x-axis and the line equation is y is equal to 0. 
Okay. Similarly, y axis is also a line. Y axis is also a line. What is the line I fish of y axis? Okay, so it's a reverse of that one. Y is equal to 0 here. How did we get y is equal to 0? Y is equal to 0, which means y is equal to 0 into x plus 0. 0 is the y intercept, it is passing through y intercept, and the slope of this one is 0. Slope any horizontal line, the slope of any horizontal line in the coordinate plane is 0. So if you simplify this one, this is y is equal to 0. That's how we got a line equation of x axis. I told you a line equation should have either x term or y term or both x and y term. And it may have a constant, may not have a constant. Okay. Um, yeah, as in probably you can consider 0 as a constant here. So y is equal to 0 is the line equation for x axis. So x axis is a line, it's an x axis, but at the end it is also a line. We can draw a line that exactly lies on the x axis. In other words, we can say x axis itself is a line to represent, to give a line equation for x axis. Uh, uh, this is what it's going to be y is equal to 0 is the line equation for x axis. For, it, for y axis, so this is how you can derive. See how do you tell? Uh, uh, how, how can you tell y is equal to 0 is going to represent x axis? You put it in the, uh, in the main form of y is equal to mx plus c and you replace m with the 0. And the reason why we should replace is that any horizontal line will have a slope of 0. Slope of 0 and it is passing through obviously the origin 0, 0. And when you replace m with 0 and c with 0, you get y is equal to 0. Okay, uh, similar lines, the, the line equation of y axis is going to be x is equal to 0. Okay, so remember the line equation of y axis is x is equal to 0, the line equation of y, x axis is y is equal to 0. Okay, these are the two things that we learned here. Equation of x axis and equation of y axis. Say for example, this is x axis, this is y axis. Say for example, if a line is given on a coordinated plane, a line is a graph is given and the line something like this is given. And if you're asked to find out what is the slope of that line, okay, without giving any point, like they may give or may not give a point, but if it's a straight vertical line is given and you ask it to find out the slope of that line okay so the trick here is that any vertical line will have a slope of infinite okay any vertical line the slope for it is going to be infinite okay that's one thing yeah uh, the slope of vertical Line is infinite, and similarly, you may be given a line that's going to look like this one. Okay, that's going to look like this one. This is x axis, this is y axis, and there's a line that's going to look like this one. Okay, which is exactly parallel to x axis, and which is a perfectly horizontal, perfectly horizontal. That's no slope. That's no slope. Just perfectly horizontal. What is the slope of that line? Okay, the slope of any horizontal line that is perpendicular, that is parallel to x-axis is zero. Okay, slope of horizontal line the slope of horizontal line is zero. Yeah, yeah, these are the things that we learned in this video. But in the next video, we're going to learn a few more things about the straight line equation. Say, for example, if two lines are given, at what point are they going to meet? So, this is an x axis, this is y axis. 
this is one line equation and this is another line equation so one point it is going in the so this is a point in the inter meeting okay but what is that point how do you find it out this is something that we we'll learn we will learn in the next uh, video now similarly line equation is given if you are asked to find out only represent a line segment how do you write that line equation so this is a line equation which is uh, this is rising y is equal to 7x 7x plus 3 okay okay that's fine this is the whole line say for example if you are asked to represent only the line segment from here to here okay i don't want the remaining portion of it okay all i wanted to do uh, all i wanted to do is to write a line equation that represents this line segment from this point to this point <coughs> how do you represent it okay so those things we will learn in the next video all right yeah these are the various things that we learn check if a given equation represents a straight line or not the equation is given you can ask it to find out whether that equation represents a straight line or not okay straight line is something that do not have any curves like it's continuously goes from uh, infinitely goes on infinitely extends on both sides okay so what are the other shapes the other shapes are like for example circle we, we, we may have a circle that is also a shape and we may have some parabola we may have some uh, hyperbola we may have some curved shapes like this all of this all these things will be represented by some equation but the straight line equation is a um, this is something that look like this format y is equal to mx plus c okay now the straight line equation is going to have only x term and a y term and some constant <coughs> and some constant yeah um, yeah in the next video we will check if a two lines are given at what point they are going to meet um, is something that we will learn in the next video and um, yeah and how do you represent a line segment a line equation is given but if you want to represent only some portion of that line some portion of that line becomes a line segment how do you represent how do you represent that line segment this is something that we will learn in the next video okay these are various things that we learned today check if a given equation represents a straight line or not given straight line equation find it's a slope and a y-intercept y is equal to mx plus c is slope intercept form it's very popular form and any equation if it is given for example <coughs> ax plus by plus c is equal to zero if the equation is given in this format you should convert this one into y is equal to mx plus c okay so if you convert dy is equal to dy is equal to minus ax minus c y is equal to minus a by b x minus c by b okay if you convert to y if you convert this equation into y to mx plus c you got this one in this case m is minus a by b and c is minus c by b minus c by b yeah this is y intercept and this is a slope so any equation equation can be given x plus by plus c is equal to 0 or ax is equal to by plus c or ax is ax plus by is equal to c whatever way they are given but first thing you have to recognize whether it is a straight line equation or not if it is a straight line equation it's trying to be converted into y is equal to mx plus c format and things will become easy afterwards once you bring this equation into y is equal to mx plus c format all right yeah find out line equation given two points right? two points on the straight line are given because if two points are given there's only one straight line possible there cannot be more than one straight line at the same time there cannot be zero straight line certainly there will be one straight line Okay, find out the line equation given two points on it are given. Uh, check given a point, check if that point lies on the straight line because on the straight line you will have infinite points. But if a given point is a point is given and if you are asked to find whether that point lies on the straight line or not, uh, you can do that by simply putting that uh, point values x, x coordinate value and y coordinate value into the straight line equation and check if that equation remains. At the end, after you simplify, yeah, check if uh, two lines are parallel or not. So two lines will be parallel if their slopes are equal. Then only we say those two lines are parallel. 
check if two lines are uh, perpendicular. Once the two lines are said to be perpendicular, if their slopes are additive inverse. For example, if I am the slope of here, the slope is minus here already. Okay, what is the what is the line that will be perpendicular to this one? Any line that has a slope here already. Okay, it can be anything like this, it can be anything, but the slope is the important factor. Here we have a minus here already, and if you have another line whose slope is here already, then this line and this line is going to be perpendicular. Okay, given a line equation, find out the quadrants it passes through. For that, you have to make a rough sketch. The positive slope represents the rising line, and the negative slope represents the falling line from left to right. That's important. Okay. Okay. Given the line equation, find out the quadrants through which it passes through. And um, the next point is find out the equation of x-axis and uh, find out the equation of y-axis and uh, the slope of a vertical line, the slope of a parallel, uh, the slope of a horizontal line. The slope of horizontal line is zero. The slope of parallel line, vertical line is infinite always. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.